Do you know who Keith Lee is? Man, I heard, man, I, I listen. I heard, I heard TikTok about, food, food critic. I heard about what he's doing, man. Like, come on. Check this out, bro. Okay, let me get let me get people a backdrop. Come on, bro. Keith Lee is a TikTok food critic. He accidentally caused chaos in the Atlanta restaurant scene. In the video, which have been viewed over 95 million times, Lee said multiple restaurants he had a hard time ordering ahead. So he like tried to order food in advance. They said, no, we're not doing that. He said, uh, ex experienced poor customer service or his family initially was turned away only to be offered a table once they realized they were with him. Restaurants have received death threats. Cardi B talked about uh, uh, Lee's food tour videos, IG. I feel like Atlanta restaurants, they don't like they don't like to make money, she said, describing how difficult it is for her to order food in the city without having to mention her name. I don't know. I don't know how often you've been to Atlanta, but the Atlanta food scene, we 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 unique because a lot of times it's all about dressing up, and it's a, it is it's an hour, hour and a half, two hours, two and a half hour wait time. A lot of times, Ocho, you got to eat a meal before you actually go to the restaurant because you're going to be hungry damn good before you actually get in the restaurant. So right. it's perfect. And look, I don't want people to think what's going on is unique to Atlanta and black restaurants. Normally, Ocho, you know this from being a performer, uh, a professional athlete. We get privileges sometimes at the restaurant and sometimes we get to get things that normal people don't get. It happened. I don't like it. Ocho. So you've like never it. you've never gotten a table because you Ocho C. I'm, I'm not talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. And when it when they do, when they do, I and mean, you know me, you know how I move. And everybody in this chat knows how I move when I go to restaurants. If you seat me first, you understand what's coming at the end when it's time to tip. I've been doing that 20 some years. Okay, but I don't like the fact of what he's doing. Ocho. I, I don't like if I don't I don't I don't like Ocho. it. I don't like the critiquing of our restaurants and and having people and and and, and talking bad about our goddamn businesses and Ocho. like oh, you know Ocho. how hard you know how it hard it is. is and I get it. Ocho. for us to Ocho. even get in the food industry and to have Ocho. our own restaurant and so Ocho. Like, what are we doing? Don't ask me. Don't ask me to come to your house and then ask me what I think about it without giving me asking me to give you my honest opinion. Nobody asked. Ask Nobody asked for that. Also, Nobody asked that. A, a lot of these people, listen, a lot of these, a lot of these restaurants do DM him, ask him to come. But he wants to go on a lot of times he wants to go unannounced and give people that's what he is. He's a food critic. He's turned himself into a food critic. It's okay. Are we turning himself in are you, resume? What are the qualifications? What are what are the qualifications of being a food critic? Go to a restaurant and do you like the food? Did you like the customer service? What was it like? Yes. What was the wait time like? That's all you got to do. How about go do that at Maestro's? Go do that shit at Chris Roof. Go do it at Poppy Steak. Go do it at fucking Zuma. Go do it at goddamn whatever the fucking rest of them goddamn five star restaurants oh, that everybody. Go do it at that. Name one of the restaurants you go to in LA. Name one. Where you and Selena Gomez went? Where y'all went? What's the name of the restaurant y'all went to? I don't forgot now. You know. I, you know. I, I, I honestly forgot because go, I had I had never been, I have never been there before. Go do it at day restaurants and give them the bad press and the bad all the bad. Ocho, 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 Ocho. Because you're black doesn't mean you're above criticism. I'm not saying critique. you're above anything, but go go do it there. It's it's hard enough for us as it is. Now here you go. So in other words, so if he got bad service, he's supposed to just let that slide. Service wasn't bad. Service wasn't bad. Know. Service because it wasn't. It wasn't. I ain't never had bad service. Ocho. And even, even if the service was bad, they might be having a bad day because some of the goddamn idiots they don't have to deal with. Ocho, 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 honestly, in the customer service business, you can't have a bad day because think about what you just said. Customer service. Do you know what it's like dealing with some of these people? You shouldn't get in that business. Day. Do not get into the customer service business if you can be easily perturbed by having a bad day. But sometimes you need a job. And sometimes the, that job being customer service and being in the food industries is all you can do Ocho, i know me i can't be in the customer service business because I i'm easily i can't i'm easily irritated i mm -hmm. don't like no book hey i can't i ordered this and they mess up the order okay i get that ocho but you have to understand people are paying their hard-earned money so i have the right if i like the service i'm gonna say i like the service now me i don't go look ocho you know what? In this business, what I've been in, Ocho, I've been very fortunate. 
I've met a lot of high profile people. Yeah. And one of the first thing people ask me is what he or she is like. And you know what I tell them? I can only tell you through my experience. Yeah. I don't know what they'll be like to you. I don't know what they're like to him. I don't know what they're like to someone else. I can just tell you what they're like to me. When I go to a restaurant, my experience at that restaurant might be different than yours. It might be different than Jordan's. It might be different than Malika's. But I can just tell you from my experience, it was unbelievable. Or no, it wasn't very good. The people weren't courteous. Uh, the, the service was, was lacking. The food was cold. It took me a long time to get seated. It took me a long time for the service to come back and take my order. That's my experience. Right. You might go there and have a totally different experience. Listen, I, I hear I hear what you're saying, and I'm gonna agree to disagree. Okay. I like to leave my mark on all restaurants I go to, regardless of what it is. I am more about being the positive influence. And when I leave those places and leaving my mark, and I don't want my mark to be that of what Brother Keith Lee is doing. Listen, I salute him to what he's doing and trying to um, let the people know about restaurants in Atlanta. The rest of restaurants that I've been to Atlanta, that I've been to, have yeah. been just fine. Ocho, All of them have you been just fine. a lot of times, a lot of times, uh, people have said their restaurant has been saved because he's given them a positive critique. Huh? Huh? A lot of the restaurants said they have been able to remain in business because of the positive critique. So now, again, like I said, I don't have a problem tipping. A lot of times when I leave my room, I left money on the table today. I said, ma'am, I was at the table last night and I didn't get an opportunity to throw the stuff in the trash. I said, I left money on the table. It's yours if you clean it up. It might not have been her room, but I bet you went in there and got that stuff off that table and threw it away. Yeah. I, I I got I'm you. A, I'm a service. I'm a service type of guy. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm I'm just telling you. you keep the keep the ginger ale flowing. Right. You keep the ginger ale flowing. Your right. boy gonna break you off real nice. I'm just I'm just telling you how I am. Okay. I'm telling you how I am. How I understand what the people in the service industry have to go through. I understand the personalities, the people that they have to deal with time and time again for hours and hours at a time. Stand on your feet, ordering, dealing with different. Oh, Joe, you chose dealing. that job. Listen to me, listen to me. And I can I can empathize with them, even though they chose that job. Maybe that's the only opportunity they have to make money. So I understand that. So I don't go in there. I never send food back. I don't care about the feed, food being goddamn cold. I'm going to make your day at your job as easy as possible when I enter your establishment. As easy as possible. And I'm going to leave your ass with a motherfucking blessing because they know telling what the fuck you had to go through before I got here. And that's just how I move. That's just how I move. I'm not leaving no fucking bad critiques and talking shit about your place. I'm going to make sure when I leave there, I'm going to be asked for and I'm gone. That's just me. Oh, what, what, what he's doing, that's cool. That's fine. And, you know, you know, more power to him. And more, more power to those that, that it's affecting in a positive or negative way. That's oh, just you, me. You feel it some, some type of way about that. I mean, that's, that's just me. I'm, I'm, just thinking, I'm, just, I'm thinking from a business, a, a business standpoint, how fucking hard it is for people to fucking bill. Just, man, that's, man, fucking bullshit, man. I tell you what, you open the restaurant, I'm bringing roaches and rats with me. Let that's them go. fine. That's <laughs> fine. I said, man, hey, I'm going to help my camera lady. Oh, job, lady. Hey, look at this right here. Look at that big old one and right now, there. Now, now I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about how that shit really affecting people restaurants out there, man, in Black Hollywood, man. Because now, now that you done, done now I'm, I'm really allowing it to sink in. Like, like that's, matter of fact, you know what? I'm a, I'm finna follow up. I'm going to be a motherfucking food critic. In you Atlanta. Mean? I'm going to be a food critic. I'm finna go to Ojo, every Ojo, motherfucking Ojo, restaurant. I'm going to every restaurant Ojo, in Atlanta Ojo. and I'm leaving a five thousand dollar tip. And Ojo. I'm and I'm and I'm gonna tell them these motherfucking restaurants was perfect and the Ojo. service was phenomenal. Ojo. Just to, just to overshadow do, that fucking you, shit, bullshit. Talk Ojo. about restaurants. You do realize you do realize a food critic, they go all around the United States. They hey, just Gordon, don't go Gordon Ramsay is the only food critic I know. Ocho. You see, that's now what he do, does. Now you're doing what athletes do. That's what he what's does. Your, what's your crack? Hold on. That's what he does. He's Greg, but here's the thing, Ocho. You can't say because someone doesn't have a culinary or a culinary background. So what makes you a goddamn food critic? Oh, because you you have you have a platform because you got social media. So again, that's so normal. Now now you every, just you attach a name to yourself. Now you every, are every everybody is not a classical. Everybody is not a Michelin star chef. Everybody is not a five star chef. 
And that's what okay qualifies you to be a food critic where everybody in the world has to listen to what you have to say about They don't have to. They don't have to. He ain't forced nobody to listen to his TikTok. He ain't forced nobody to listen to what he got to say. He said, go try it for yourself. He said, that's his experience. You might have a totally different experience, Ocho. You, you know what? If you have a large platform of that magnitude, you shouldn't be saying nothing bad. You should be praising all motherfucker restaurants. Nah, hell no. Nah. No, you and I gonna disagree with that one. Just you because I got a platform, be that don't mean all I have to help their motherfucking business. Ocho, just Ocho, Ocho. My thing is, I'm telling you how I am. Yeah, I have nothing against what he's doing. I'm just telling you. Yes, you do. Me. You just said it's bullshit. I'm, what I'm you giving, mean? I'm you think you know? I'm, I'm, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Oh, so you just said you didn't have anything against it. What are you doing? So hold on. hold on, hold on, time out. That's how I, I feel. Either, I, either I'm losing my damn mind or I'm done. You That's just how said I feel. you didn't have a problem with what he did. Then I, he I do. And said it's bullshit. Because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the long. So you got a problem. I'm looking so at the long term effects of how this. Do you have a problem with what he did? Yes or no? Yeah, I don't. I don't okay, like thank you. That's all like you it. had to say to begin with. That's like what I, that's all I wanted to get you to say. I don't like I it. And anybody to... else, and if anybody in the chat <laughs> like what's going through with, with that, like this this shit, let me know. Let me know if you like it. Because if you if you like it, I mean, I got a problem with y'all too. While we all love watching our favorite teams on television, there's nothing better than being at a game live and in person, sitting courtside. Take it from me. And the best way to get tickets to any of these games is on Game Time the fastest growing ticket app in the U.S. Game Time is obsessed with finding ways to help you save money on tickets. You can find exclusive flash deals and sponsor deals on games and concerts daily. The zone deals, you pick the section and Game Time picks the seat for an average savings of 18%. And with Game Time Guarantee, you'll always get the best price. If you find the tickets in the same section and roll for less, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and redeem code NIGHTCAP for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, download Game Time app, enter the code NIGHTCAP. That's N-I-G-H-T-C-A-P for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last-minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. You ain't got no problem with them. Please do not. Uh, 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 forget to click that button below that subscribe button, and you're gonna get takes like this. He I'm and talk I about, talk about my guy. We are teammates, but we agree to disagree on a lot of things. He has his opinion, and as he says, I can only base my experience on my experience. And so, if I go to a restaurant, if I like it, somebody asks me, "Hey, man, you ever been to such and such?" Yeah, I've been there. Cool, pretty good. Oh, uh, nah, it's not my vibe. Fuck that shit. You do that all the time. You be trashing me. You trash my dog. That's effing bull jive that you trash my dog and talk about I was traded for two minutes. You the and you dog? should have did that. Whoa, what whoa, give you whoa. qualification? Wait a minute. What give you the qualification to say what I should and what I should not spend for a dog? You have a dog that costs 10000 American dollars. What are dollars your qualifications? Cannot, huh? What are your qualifications? I was, have you ever bred a dog? Have you ever yeah. trained a dog? Yes. Have you ever judged a dog? Yes. Okay, what? I was a judge at the Westminster Dog Show in 1993. <laughs> I, was Again, a judge, I, I was a judge at the Westminster Dog Show. Think about what you just said. The, you listen, asked. wait, let me finish. Go ahead. I was a judge at the Westminster Dog Show in 1993, and it was a toy, toy group. Which is what you have. You have a toy dog. You pay 10000 Let me finish. You pay $10,000 for a dog that cannot protect you. Every dog is not built for wait, protection. Wait a minute, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. He can't talk and he can't do no tricks. How you know he can't like do you tricks? Said, go get it. Go get him right now. Tell him to sit. I, I ain't home. Where you at? Don't worry about all that. See, there okay, you go. Where, where the dog at? Where the dog at? You bought a dog for $10,000 and he ain't traveling with you? No. For $10,000, he going to be attached to my hip. Why? Just like baby Carlos in the hangover, he going everywhere with me in a harness. No. But my thing is, I still want to know your qualifications. You haven't given me no qualification. I You've never been to the Westminster Dog Show. You don't I know where the Westminster Dog just, Show. Okay, let me ask you a question. Google so what's me. the dog? What's Google the me. dog in the what's the dog in the silhouette? In what silhouette? In the silhouette on the Westminster Dog Show. In the Westminster Dog Show, there's a dog in the silhouette. What yeah. type of dog is it? It's an English Spaniel. It's an English Spaniel. 
Don't it's play me. I really do this. It's I really do. It's I want that, never forget. I wanted to be a marine biologist and a veterinarian before I made it to the league. Ocho Cinco has no qualification to tell me what I should or shouldn't pay monetarily for a dog. He's not a breeder. He's not an owner. He's not a handler. He's not a trainer. He's not a judge. I'm now, but you criticize oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I'll let I'm... you speak. I'll let you speak. But you said, what is Keith Lee's qualification to be able to critique food? He has the same qualification that you have as far as dogs. You offered your critique. He offered his. His is bullshit, but you're supposed to stand on bond. My goddamn critique ain't costing your motherfucking business or your dog no motherfucking night. It caused me dinner. harm. It caused me emotional distress because you said I was foolish and people laughed at me for spending 10 racks for a dog, for 10 mm -hmm. bands for a dog. Emotional is emotional stress of those businesses losing goddamn money and people got that they got they come short. Well, let me finish. I let you talk. They come up short on payroll and people not want to show up because of these goddamn critiques that somebody is doing that I say isn't qualified to do them is affecting people's business in this goddamn economy and it's a bunch of goddamn bullshit. And I'm standing ten toes on that. Period. Okay. Okay. And your dog, your dog costs ten thousand dollars and he can't talk. But okay, so but what's your qualifications? I just told you, I used to train dogs in Liberty City. You didn't train no dogs. You didn't train and no dogs. Now ask, I'm, a, I'm ask, calling BS. Ask, ask I'm calling brother. BS. I'm calling ask, BS. Ask my little, so Ocho ask my has not Chansu. been a trainer. He's not been a breeder. He's not been an owner. He's what not you? been a handler. He's not been a judge. So what are your qualifications? Now you got some. Now I'm you, the guy that can you, talk about dogs. You I'm the guy. That. No, you're not. I have not had dogs since I was four years old. I didn't oh, gave I didn't I didn't gave birth to German Shepherd puppies. What you talking about? Like Ocho. I do this. This ain't no Ocho. joke. Ocho, Ocho, when it comes to when it comes to animals, you can't touch me. Whoa, stop! You can't touch me. Stop! Can't when touch it me. When it comes to animals, you can't touch me. Rail, where you at? Rail, you in the chat? You better okay, ask my let's kids. Go. Ask let's go. Let's go. Cattle. Let's start talking about cattle. Name some cattle. About cattle. Name I some said, breeds of cattle. Name some breeds of hog. Name some breeds of chickens. Name some breeds of cats. Name man, I'm man, I'm out of Liberty City, man. We ain't got no goddamn hogs. But you hold up. You say you know animals. I said dogs. Dogs. Okay, let's talk about dogs. Animals. What dog you want to talk about? Dogs. You want to talk about a You want to talk. You want to talk about the bull or the English master? Or you want to talk about the barbell? Or you want to talk about the kangaroo? It don't matter. It don't matter. Whatever, whatever, whatever breed you want to. Okay, it let's talk matter. about the kangaroo. Where did it originate from? The kangaroo. The can the cane corso. It's, it's pronounced Connie Corso, but okay, go ahead, take off. I, I like Cane Corso. Yeah, they know what you like. I'm telling you what the pronunciation of the dog is. Says who? Connie Corso. When you go to the Westminster Dog Show and they say number 35, the Connie Corso. Can I, hey, let me ask you something. Spell sugar, spell sugar cane. Spell the last, spell sugar cane. Spell the last, spell cane. Sugar C cane. C A N E. Man, spell Cane Corso. Say the first three letters of Cane Corso. Just spell, it's Connie. Just spell it. I'm just, just telling spell it. You. Okay. Spell it for me. Just because something is spelled doesn't mean that that is pronounced that way, Ocho. What, what, there are, what there are a lot of words. There's what a lot you're of not work. gonna do is allow the English the English language to change because the dog was born somewhere and bred somewhere else. That's not what I'm gonna do. O Ocho. Cane Corso. Ocho. Just because just because something is spelled a certain way doesn't mean hey. it's pronounced a certain where, way where, because where there are certain names. Let me ask you a question. Are there names in the English language that are yeah. spelled one way? Right. Because you just told me, remember the other day you told me about the silent? It's silent. And sa salmon? Salmon? Ah, the so, L is silent? Salmon? Ah, okay then. Sp spaghetti? Okay. So Stay I'm just now. saying. Ocho, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a English, I'm an English major too now. Let's oh, go now. Let's go. Ocho, Ocho, Ocho. I'm an English major. Let's go. Ocho. You and I both know with your grades, you couldn't have got in prison. But Ooh. anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, oh, you and I go disagree on this one. I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah. You're saying that as as because the businesses, especially black small businesses, they're not yeah, changed. Man. And yeah, they're probably, man. if they're fortunate enough, they might have two. But more times than not, there's only one. There's only one. And I get it. I get what you're saying. But my only point is to this. I just don't believe that you should not be able to critique a business because the owner looks like you and I. That's all I'm saying. Now, right. if if you don't like it, look, you you're right. You could keep that to yourself, but that's not that's not what he does. You and I, you and I, we're not going anywhere and they're gonna leave a negative review. 
especially not public. Now, if I'm talking to some of my friends, like, bro, I went there, it was bomb. I love it. I love the oxtail. I love the smothered pork chops or the, or the fried chicken, the yada, yada, yada. And if I didn't, I'm like, no, nah, it wasn't me. I wasn't feeling it that day. Okay, cool. Listen, I, I, I have a reputation to upkeep for the past 20 years of, of going to restaurants everywhere and being so every, known, and, and can being, ask you a question and being known for one thing and I just don't want I, I don't want to leave any any negative reviews in any type of manner no matter what because that 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 reflects on me and who I am and my character as a person that, that's, so you, that's all I'm saying man. so in all your years of going to the restaurant you've never ever had a meal come out cold a meal that wasn't what you ordered the service wasn't good you've never had a negative experience at a restaurant and even if I did no, no, no. That's what I don't. No, no. It's not even if you did. I, I'm I just asking. I, 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 yes I, I, I can't. I can't remember. I can't remember because I I rotate the same shit over and over. Okay. I rotate the same. I'm it's not. Hard, I'm not oh, a foodie, Unc. Sure. Unc. I'm not a foodie. Let me listen to me. Let me tell you. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I play around a lot. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And this is one okay. of the problems that I had with Sherelle when I when I met Sherelle too about experiencing new places. I'm just gonna be honest. When we met, I yeah. go to five restaurants, and I I swear for God, my kid to tell you too. Right hand on the Bible. Bahama Breeze, I'm not lying. McDonald's, obviously, you know that. Yeah. I have a Cuban spot that I tried that is in Davie off of Pine Island and Griffin right. called Havana Cuban Cuisine. Mm -hmm. I go to Brimstone, okay. I go to Twin Peaks, and yeah. I know I know my dude, my soul food spot. I go to Bar One. You know Peter Thomas, right? Mm -hmm. I go to Bar One. I don't know him personally, but I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah. I go to Bar One, and I go to I Crave. That is the extent of my restaurants, I, I promise you, and I'm, I'm not even joking. And when, when I eat it somewhere new, it's when I'm with Sherelle. And she and she can attest to this. She likes sending food back. When when the, <laughs> when the staff has an attitude, and I look at her, I look at her funny. I like, like what are you doing? You don't know what this you have to go through. Yeah, man. And so I get ticked off at her when she doesn't understand how I see it. She don't see it from the lens I see it. She right. sent the food back. Okay, let me ask you a question. Cold. What's one of the like, reasons she what what's one of the reasons she'll send the food back? Sometimes they, they get the order wrong. Or 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 she asks for something not to be on, on the plate that comes on the menu okay. and they put it on there anyway. Just just right. small stuff like that. Just 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 eat it, man. Just no! eat it. have to be see. I so let me ask you a question. I don't see how you so, 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 so let me ask you a question. When you that, when you man. when you ran the wrong route, did the did the coach did the coach ever say anything? He corrected I, you, right? Because your objective was to get it right. The objective yeah. of a restaurant, of a service, is to provide a service, which means to, to get it right. So if yeah. I ask no onions, no pickles, and then you put onions and pickles, what should I do? Then I'm going to just take them off. I'm yeah, not, but I'm, I'm saying, but I'm there's sometimes... I, 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 I want to make your job as easy as possible. If you know if you mess around and put you put on, onions and pickles on this shit, I'm not sending it back. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do what I did when I was a little kid, when I was a little shorty. And you put onions and pickles on the shit. I'm gonna take the motherfucking top off, peel them bitches off, squish the burger down, and eat it. Can I like, ask you a question? I ain't got what time. About, to what, all that what, about, what about my experience? Where huh? do I fit into that? You trying to you you trying to make sure they have a, they have a pleasurable day. What if I had a bad day? But I, I gave you I gave you your understanding on why I do that because I understand what they got to go through. What about I'm, me? What I'm, about I'm, what I'm going through? That, that doesn't matter. What you going through? You coming to eat? You coming okay. to eat? Yeah. All right, you, you. I mean, you know, you're not gonna understand, man. I'm just, I, I just see, I see everything from a different lens than you do. So we ag agree to disagree. When I go out, I want to make their job easy as possible. I don't give a fuck about your goddamn service. What I don't about your care job? about that. So when you go out, I what you trying to? So what are you hoping to get accomplished when you go out? I to get full. That's it. Because I know what I'm getting to get full. Right. To get full, ask, and I know, I know, I, I know, I have people in the chat that have been waiters of mine, that have been waitresses of mine, and you know how I am. I'm simple. When I walk in, you're a normal order. Right. I order the same. Don't none change. And when I walk in, food, but what happens when they get it wrong? If they know your order and they still get it wrong, then what? I'm gonna eat whatever the fuck they bring me, and they know that. And I'm, I'm, I swear, I swear for God, I swear to God on my mama, rest in peace. And you know, I wouldn't play like that. I am not anal like that when it comes to food, especially when it comes to service industry. I want your shit. If there was one customer that you're gonna deal with that you know it's easy and you gotta deal with no bullshit, it's me. And I you don't know, send a whole lot and, of stuff and, back. And, you, and listen, and you know what's gonna happen once I walk out that once I walk out that door. You're gonna be straight all month. No. I That's, mean 
the way I look at it, when I when I, I the thing is, if it, if it's undercooked, you know, if it's undercooked or overcooked, I'm gonna send it back. I got to. I can't eat it. I can't eat it. I, I got. I it. mean, I can't look. I don't. I can't eat anything, Ocho. A good vet could have saved it. You <laughs> see what I'm saying, Ocho? I can't do that. I gotta send that, Ocho. I gotta send that back. I can't just sit there. Come on, Ocho. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, if I'd call, if I'd call my homeboy who's a vet, he could have got there five minutes ago. He could have saved the cow. Right. I can't do that. But I get what you say. I get. I get what you're saying. You, you, you're looking at it from the lens of oh, see, I, I think you, you're looking at it from Ocho as a shorty. And he's saying, I know what it was like. And so I don't want anybody to feel like I felt as a shorty. So now I'm going to try to make sure you have a good day. And if I, if somebody send this back, they might lose their job. Somebody got the order wrong and you get the order wrong enough, they're going to lose their job and you don't want them to be out of a job. Yeah, and you I say, think... you know what? Yeah. And again, man, you know, no, no disrespect to Keith Lee and, and, and what he's doing. I'm just I, I see it again from from a different lens. I'm, I'm looking long term, the long term effect of the positive, but the negative effect that that critique in those restaurants could have on, on, on those businesses. You know, I think right. about people that work there. I think about, you know, just just all type of shit, man. That's why on my end. And maybe maybe it's maybe it's wrong, you know, for no, like, no, no, no. Listen, you feel you listen, feel, no, I, I got I, 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 Listen, you get on me. I can't even critique goddamn NFL players, you know, that's going out there because I understand. Yeah, the but you see, but think about what you just did. You, they don't. Man, that, hey, y'all in this chat, did y'all see Ocho? Ocho just critiqued Keith Lee harder than he's ever critiqued any NFL player in six months that me and this man been working together. We all been working together three yeah, months, but, I, but I, you I, get the I, idea. I meant to say no. I said no disrespect to Keith Lee. You know, salute to him and what he's doing. But I'm you just, don't. You do I'm, realize I'm, I'm that thinking, anytime thinking you say about, that. I'm, I'm What's thinking coming? about the I'm thinking about the businesses, man. That's all. Hey. You know how hard it is to start and be in the restaurant business. You know how it's difficult. hard to start any business, Ocho. <laughs> yeah, but that one, is, this is restaurant business is fickle though. That's even worse. You know, <laughs> restaurant business is like having a club. You know, sometimes it's hit or miss. Sometimes it's a slow season. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. Some man, come on, man. But you do, oh, but you do realize, Ocho. A lot of time, these businesses, like these popping spots. What happened? Somebody gave them positive reviews. Somebody said something good. And a lot of times you go you go to the, the places in Miami. All it takes is one person. It takes somebody. You go to a spot. Man. Like you said, won't you I tell you what, this is what we're gonna do. Let me you know you mean you gonna do uh next uh uh we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna tour the country, we're gonna go around the country, we're gonna go to different places, eat different stuff, and we're gonna give our artist opinion. Or what we think, and we gonna eat a lot of stuff, a lot of different stuff. No well, seafood. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I eat seafood. I was just bullshit about the uh, about the lobster. I'm allergic to it. Oh, you you for real? Yeah, you be. You know, it'll hey, be, listen, it'll be I, a I, nightcap with Ocho. <laughs> <laughs>